So if you like today, just wait to see what's ahead, right, Sean? Yep. We have a great weekend on the way. Hey, before we talk about that, I do want to. Dion promoted it yesterday. <laughs> he said we wouldn't have that drought monitor today, and I, I want to it. show you it's good news. You got it, and things are even better. Look at that. Some of the yellow has even disappeared out of central Minnesota, northern Nicollet County, Sibley County, all the way up to McLeod, Candy, Ohio, Meeker County. So good news. The moisture we've been getting lately is certainly helping the uh, overall drought situation. We still have a little bit of a sketchy situation down in far southeastern Minnesota into northern and eastern Iowa. We do need more rain, and we actually have more on the way as we headed to next week. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a minute. Just a recap, this was last week, uh, and then uh, back to this week. So we're doing all right here in the, uh, with the whole drought situation. The showers we had today didn't really give us much. We had a couple hundredths of an inch here at the TV station, and that was basically the case across most of southern Minnesota. There were a few places that got up to a tenth. We had a couple of isolated little thunder showers, but those were few and far between. And now that system sliding off to the east. We have a low sitting off to our east, and that's going to continue to slide out, taking the showers and the clouds along with it. High today, 50s, 58 Mankato, 55 in Waseca, 56 in Fairmont. We got to 61 in New Ulm and 60 today in Redwood Falls. And we're still holding strong at 50, wind out of the northwest at 14 miles per hour. It's 49 in Blue Earth, 47 in Fairmont, 46 in New Ulm, St. James temperature at 45. We have 48 Oatana, Waseca. Our temp is 46, and here's that low. It's going to continue to move off to the east. High pressure. It's going to nudge in from the west. It's sitting over South Dakota now, but it's going to boot those clouds out of here probably after about 2 or 3 in the morning. It'll be a nice sunny day tomorrow. Still a little, little on the breezy side. It's not going to be as windy as it was today, but 10 to 20, an occasional gust to 25 possible as we roll through tomorrow. But watch how fast these clouds and showers go. Bloop, there they go. By 6 a.m., sunshine. And then... We're basically looking at a blank map through most of the day tomorrow. Highs tomorrow, right around 60. We're going to kick it up a notch into the upper 70s to low 80s by Saturday. As we head into next week, we are watching another system now. This is very preliminary. We're still about five days away from this, but watching a system that has the potential to bring some uh, measurable rain, maybe a widespread quarter inch or more of rain from Monday night through Tuesday into Tuesday night. Possible that there could be a couple of isolated strong to severe thunderstorms as well, especially south of I-90. We're going to watch this one closely through the weekend. Stay with us for updates. We'll have more as we get closer. 40 tonight, clouds decreasing, clear after about 3 a.m. Tomorrow, sunshine, a little warmer, not quite as windy. We'll get to 60 for a high northwest wind at 10 to 20 with an occasional gust to 25. And then there you go, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, boatloads of sunshine, highs in the mid to upper 70s. Check out Monday. We'll get to 80. And again, that's a couple of weeks earlier than we normally hit 80 degrees here. So we're doing all right, right on par with this uh, season. And then Monday night, scattered thunderstorms Tuesday, rain and thunderstorms possible. And it will be a bit cooler as we roll into the last half of next week. That's what's going on. Get ready to enjoy a great weekend. We're going to take a break. Sports is next. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.